Okay guys, happy Friday. I hope everyone's having a good week. Um, workout for today is at a Tabata party. Okay, if you guys know Coach Mary, um, this workout is all her. Um, for her, this is a warm up. For a lot of us, it's gonna be a tough workout, right? Make sure you keep calm and keep tacking it. Okay, so we have four rounds of Tabata where you can think of four sets, okay? So first one you have is mountain climbers, okay? So you can play the Tabata song. You know, you can find one on Spotify, play it. For the entire Tabata, which is about, which it is four minutes, you can do mountain climbers, okay? It's 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, okay? And then uh, you're gonna get one minute rest after the Tabata. Then you hit your second set of Tabata uh, with dumbbell sumo deadlift high pool. Okay, exact same thing, you're gonna play a Tabata song, and then uh, you're gonna do the whole Tabata for this movement, Dumbbell Sumo Del High Pool, and then you get one minute rest, and then you're gonna hit your third set of Tabata, Russian twist with the dumbbell, same thing, uh, the whole Tabata for this movement. And then the last one, the single arm dumbbell overhead lunge, um, same thing, um, just make sure you do the whole Tabata for this entire movement, okay? And then one minute rest, where after this, you have all the rest in the world. Okay, and then uh, RX for this workout is 35 and then 25. The goal for this workout, guys, is if you try to aim for 550 reps or 500 reps. If you get somewhere near that, that's really good. Um, this should be a sweaty workout. For the mountain climbers, you're gonna go into a plank, make sure you engage your core, Right, and you're gonna bring your knees to your elbows. Okay, you're gonna do step, step. Each time you get your elbow, knees touch your elbow, that counts as one. Okay, so if you go right and left, that's two reps. Okay, if you're really efficient with this, then you can do like a running mountain climbers. Okay, perfect, cool. For a modification for the mountain climbers, um, if you can't go always to your uh, get your knees touch your elbow, it's okay. Uh, you should still get a good core workout. The sumo deadlift high pull, okay? You're gonna think you're a sumo wrestler, so you're gonna go wide stance, uh, probably wider than your shoulder, yep, point your toes out slightly, and then you're gonna have, go, have the dumbbell in the upside down position, you're gonna have big chest, send the hips back, don't let your knees pass your toes, you're gonna come all the way up to your chest, and that counts as one rep, okay? Uh, just make sure you keep your chest up on this one, breathe at the top. If you can't go all the way down uh, without losing your form, maintain your form, then don't go all the way down, right? Perfect. Next, we have the Russian twist with a dumbbell. Okay, so on this one, you're gonna bend your knees a little bit, get your feet off the ground, have your body in a 45 degrees, engage your core, and you're gonna twist left or right. Each time you touch the ground, you're gonna have to touch the ground on each side of you. That counts with one. So if Mary go back and forth, that's two reps already, okay? Perfect, if modification for this, if that's too challenging for you uh, to get your feet off the ground, just put your feet on the ground. It should be a little easier and just twist your trunk back and forth. The single arm dumbbell overhead lunge, you're gonna bring overhead. You're gonna make sure your arm is pressed all the way up, all right? and have your bicep close to your ear. You don't wanna be way out there, okay? For the lunge, for the step, make sure you take a big enough step where your shin is traveling vertical. For the back knees, you can go, you're gonna to try to kiss the ground, right? Don't just slam your knees down. And you can go from there into the next one, okay? Notice Mary didn't switch her arm um, because for this Tabata, you're gonna do 20 seconds with your right arm and then the next 20 seconds, you're gonna do with your left arm, okay? And also, another thing for the overhead lunge. So as you're going down, think about pressing up. Don't, just, don't try to relax your arm, okay? So your arm should be locked out. So as you're going down, think about keep pressing up, okay? Perfect. All right, so modification for this. Um, for, some, for a lot of us, it's gonna be probably lack of range of motion or mobility in our shoulder. So what you can do is, 
And instead of going over overhead, just bring it to your shoulder, okay? And then you can get that front rack position, and then you're just gonna do exact same thing. Lunge from one into the next one. This is gonna be a long workout. It's gonna be mentally challenging um, because it's gonna be 16 minutes of work, okay? Just, just make sure you keep tacking it. Just know that you have that one minute rest, okay? So work hard so you can get that one minute rest. Enjoy this workout, guys. Make sure to tag us on Instagram and Facebook. We really enjoy watching you guys' video. Keep up the good work.